Alright, so what you're looking at here is a sneak preview for uh, a photo booth I'm constructing for my sister's wedding. Now, um, here we have a simple arcade button connected to the Teensy microcontroller. Uh, the arcade button actually has uh, three LEDs in it, a red, a green, and a blue RGB uh, LEDs inside of it. And so, on the uh, Teensy microcontroller, I've hooked up uh, the three LEDs as well as a switch at the bottom of the button. So these two wires here uh, activate the switch and they're attached to the ground in the first input on the Teensy. And then these other three LEDs here apply to each of the three colors, RGB. And finally we have the uh, power 5 volts over here. Um, so I programmed uh, this fun little device with uh, the Arduino um, programming environment uh, and using a uh, program uh, called Teensy. Uh, for the Teensy microcontroller I was able to take the Arduino C++ code and send it to the Teensy. So what the heck does it do? Well. Like I said, I'm making a photo booth for my sister's wedding, so this is just a prototype. You can see it's all on a solderless breadboard, and I haven't had, any, had a chance to properly solder anything up, but that'll come. Um, but the uh, idea is that we can uh, have a button to press to take a picture. So um, this will be connected to a piece of software called Spark Booth, and when you press the button, it will send a signal to Spark Booth to take a picture. Now to make this a little bit fun, um, I've also programmed the uh, LEDs in here to cycle through all of the possible color combinations so um, RGB um, you know all red and then red combined with green gives you yellow all green green combined with blue gives you this kind of cyan color in between and then you get to the pure blue and then finally blue and red gives you fuchsia and then back to red the other fun thing I did was I took the um, timing so that when I press the button it will change the color of the button during the press to something that it uh, definitely isn't. So a one of the three primary colors that isn't being displayed. So say for example while the button is green it'll change it to blue or if the button, and I'll give it a moment to change to purple, it switches to green. And the very exciting application of this is I basically made a very sophisticated space bar. So when I click the button, you can see it enters a space on the computer. And what that'll allow me to do is since the photo booth software uses the space bar as the way of starting a new picture, I can simply set up this button and our guests will just have to click a button and the photo booth will activate. Well, that's just a teaser for now, and I hope you enjoy.